Hello and welcome to our Sun Citation Challenge. So we're going to just start out coming into Mountain Pose. So Mountain Pose. Bring your big toes together, bringing the heels apart. It brings like a little tripod for the feet. Standing tall. Allowing the body to feel engaged. So, or feeling the, the feet are engaged. So we're feeling the toes, the balls of the feet, and the heels on the mat. Starting to travel up the legs. Squeeze the thighs. So lift the kneecaps. The legs are engaged. Lifting pelvic floor, drawing in your abdomen. Softening the shoulders, maybe rolling the shoulders back, standing tall. Take a deep breath in and out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lifting arms up overhead, looking up at the hands, full body stretch. Exhaling, hands come down to the floor, head to knees. Inhale, come up halfway, look forward. Holding the breath and stepping back into plank. Pushing the mat away, push the heels away. Lift the bottom up a little tiny bit. Lower down, so inhale. Exhale to lower down. Low plank, chaturanga. This can also be done on the knees. Still trying to keep the bottom up rather than dropping it. Tops of the feet on the ground, lower down. Inhale, lifting to cobra or upper dog. So keeping the arms strong. Lengthening through the whole body. Exhale, bring to down with facing dog. So we're adjusting the hands, spreading the hands out the fingers, pedaling the feet, bending the knees slightly, and straighten the legs. Bend the knees, and straighten. Bending knees, and straighten. Let the head drop down, shake the head up. So just doing it slowly. Our first one's quite slow, we'll pick it up. On your next inhale, look forward, stepping both feet to the front of the mat. Come up to fingertips, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Hands coming down, bend the knees. So trying to get the home, so bend the knees a little bit more, bringing the palms completely onto the mat if that feels okay. If it doesn't, then just the fingertips. Inhale, straighten legs, look forward, the hands can dangle. They can also go onto the shins lightly. Exhale, forward, 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 forward. Inhale, lengthen spine standing, reaching the arms up overhead. Exhaling, coming into our next sun salutation. Number two, hands coming down to the floor, head to knees. Inhale, come up halfway, look forward. So you can step back, or if you want to try to hop back, you can do a couple little hops back into plank. Please do. Or you can just step, as feels comfortable. Push the mat away, push the heels away. Just want to quickly talk about plank. Just one important thing is not to drop the bottom. A lot of people want to drop the bottom and flop down. Plank is got to be strong. We're supposed to be working more of our abdominal muscles than our arms. We feel like we're working arms and shoulders. It's more about deep abdominals. So squeezing our belly button in. Try to lift our pelvic floor. Lift our bottom a little bit. Take a deep breath in. Exhaling, coming down, Chaturanga, so low plank, hugging the elbows in. Can be done on the knees, so please do if you need. Inhale, lifting to cobra or up dog. Tops the feet on the mat. Exhaling, down dog. Okay, so we're going to come into plank. A little bit of focus onto plank. Come into plank. Again, you can walk the feet back. So some, for some people, this, you need to walk with feet forward for down dogs, come to down dog, and then come into plank. So this, I need to step my feet back. That's how I like to do plank. Keeping the bottom lifted though, trying not to dip. Tighten the abdomen, push the heels away, push the mat away. Almost, we're almost feeling like we're pulling our shoulder blades apart a little bit. Okay, so lower down, chaturanga. Good, coming back up. Not the easiest in the world. Come into down dog. On your next inhale, look forward, stepping both feet to the front of the mat. Come up to fingertips. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, standing up. Lifting your arms up overhead. 
exhaling into our third sun salutation. Hands coming down to the floor, head to knees. Inhale, rising up, halfway lift forward. And stepping or hopping back into a plank pose. So maybe you can just do a couple hops into plank. Remember your strong plank. Push them out of way, heels away. Lifting up the tailbone a little bit. So we're not, we're not in downward dog, just trying to find that a little bit of lift, lower down, chaturanga. Inhaling, lifting forward, cobra or upper dog, tops of the feet on the mat. Exhaling yourself into downward dog. Again, doing the plank. So just see what feels good. Come into down and dog. Coming into plank. Tighten the abdomen, lift up pelvic floor, pushing into dog. Coming into plank. Now we can lower down. So you can drop the knees if you want, lowering down, pushing back up. Coming into dog. On your next inhale, look forward, step or hop to the front. Coming up to our fingertips and exhale, full forward fold. Head comes down to the knees. Inhale, standing, lifting, reaching, full body stretch. Exhale to our fourth sun salutation. Hands coming down to the floor, head to knees. Inhale, come up halfway, look forward. Stepping back, step or hop to plank. Holding in plank, push them out away, heels away. Really, really tight core. So we're really working our internal, deep, deep abdominal muscles by squeezing internally, lifting the pelvic floor, lifting the belly. Belly button's coming towards the, <clears throat> the spine. Okay, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, lifting into cobra or up dog. Opening up the chest, exhaling into down dog. Coming into plank. I'm sure you guys are like, why is she doing plank? So, so coming to down dog. Coming into plank. And down dog. So this actually can be done on knees as well. So we can, <clears throat> so we can come into our knee plank and then uh, come into child's pose. Knee plank, child's pose. Knee plank, come to full plank, or you can stay on the knees, lower down. Elbows to the side, pushing back, coming into down dog. So I just wanted to also illustrate the fact that you can, um, all these poses can be modified so if you don't feel comfortable, if it feels too strong today, then you can always modify. On your next inhale, looking forward, stepping both feet or hopping to the front of the mat. Lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale for forward fold. So bending knees, hands come down to the floor. Inhale, standing, reaching full body stretch. Exhale into a fifth one, coming down. Hands coming down to the floor, head to knees. Inhale, rise up halfway, look forward. Step or hop back into plank. You don't need to hop. Sometimes I don't really want to hop. Just whatever you feel. Plank. Again, strong plank. Tighten the abdominals, pushing them out of the way. Lowering down. So we've got a really strong frame as we're coming down to our lower plank. Inhaling, lifting forward. Cobra or upward dog. Really feeling the chest opening up. The finger, the toe tips are reaching away. Exhale to down dog. Okay, one more last bit of this down dog to plank. Making whatever adjustments you want. Inhale, dog. Exhale, plank. Inhale, dog. Exhale, plank. Lower down. You can drop to the knees if you'd like. Lower down. Pushing back up. Oof. Coming into plank. Excuse me, coming to down dog. Just take a couple breaths and down dog. Driving the heels down, maybe bending the knees and the backs of the legs feel tight. Shaking the head out. One more time, just enjoying this inversion. On your next inhale, looking forward, step or hop to the front of the mat. Come up to fingertips, lengthen the spine. 
Exhale for forward fold. So bending knees, hands making contact with the ground. Inhale, standing up, opening up the arms, reaching. And exhaling back to center. Well done. Five sun salutations plus some hard planks thrown in. Uh, it's not easy, um, but after a while, your body will start to feel it. Uh, you'll feel like you're improving, but it does take a bit of patience. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and see you tomorrow for the next set of sun salutations. Thanks.